again. This is Ana Escarpia from Remax Island Properties, and today I have the pleasure to interview Casey Thompson. She is the owner of Remedy Wellness Center. Casey, thank you very much for being with us. I really yeah, appreciate it. Thank thanks you. for having me. I have a few questions, and I always have my questions beside me, so I don't make any, I don't forget anything. Mm. Just to start, you are a massage therapist. That's correct. That's right. Yep. Are you from Victoria or you came to Victoria a long time ago? I've lived in Victoria since I was 12, but I'm originally from Red Deer, Alberta. Nice, nice. What, I mean, you're, you're a massage therapy. What made you create uh, a remedy? Um, I, early in my career, had an opportunity to work uh, at a, a clinic with other practitioners like chiropractors, naturopathic doctors, medical doctors, um, physiotherapists, and uh, being exposed to all of those other therapies, I, I really thought that that model of care is what really works for people and being able to provide a team approach. Um, each of those different services has a lot of benefits for, for the patient. So, um, yeah, that, that was the main reason. I, I wanted to, to work with all of those other types of practitioners as well. So your clinic is like one-stop service clinic. I don't need to go to one place to have a massage and to other place to have the neuropath and things like that. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do here. And we really encourage our practitioners to try to work together as a team. Um, yeah. I know I myself have, have had a lot of injuries and I've been the patient lots of times. I've walked in those shoes. And it can be very frustrating if um, you're seeing one practitioner who's telling you, you need to push through this bit of pain with your exercises. It's okay that it hurts a little bit, that it's just part of the process. And you're seeing someone else who says, oh no, no, it shouldn't hurt. You need to dial it back and you need to rest more. Both of those people probably have very good clinical reasoning behind why they're telling you that, uh, but it leaves the patient very confused and frustrated and not knowing what to do. So here we, we really encourage our practitioners to of course, with patient consent, talk to each other and make sure that everybody's on the same page with the recommendations we're giving the patients, what they should be doing in order to get them from, you know, step one to step 10 on their recovery path. So now I'm curious and I'm going to change the subject. So you got a lot of injuries. Yes. Why is lots. that? Why is that? I was a very, very active, uh, sporty kid. I'm still a very active person. Um, I was probably a little overconfident <laughs> in my abilities. Uh, I, living in Alberta, I did lots of skiing, downhill skiing. And uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the term yard sale, when you fall and your stuff goes flying in all different directions. Oh. Yeah, and you kind of like cartwheel down the hill so uh just through various different sports i've had lots of injuries uh dislocated a lot of things never broken a bone shockingly uh but yeah that's the 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 main reason sports do you still ski i do yeah i don't i'm not doing black diamonds and jumps and moguls and trees anymore <laughs> i stick to uh you know intermediate runs so i can just leisurely go down the hill and yeah, not worry about hurting myself. <laughs> I, I, one of the ideas of these interviews is to know the person. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me a little more about you. You have family, you have pets. I do. Yeah. I'm, I'm married. I've been with my husband for uh, 16 years. We have mm -hmm. two Australian shepherds and we have a son that's eight years old. He's so also have, very athletic. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, so you have the, because I can see the Australian Shepherds goes with your personality. Yes. So yeah. super ultra active dogs. Yeah. And when you're not skiing and when you're not managing your, your wellness center, what do you like doing, let's say, in your time off when you're not working? Um, well, I dance at a local studio. Um, mm -hmm. It's called Passion and Performance. It's a really wonderful community uh, of people, all ages and abilities, all body types, all genders. Uh, and yeah, so they do uh, a few live shows 
uh, four or five live shows throughout the year. So I, I still, I danced a lot as a kid too. I was a competitive dancer. Uh, so this is for fun, but we do live performances. Um, and otherwise it's mostly, you know, mom stuff. My son plays hockey. Uh, he plays soccer. So, you know, he plays the piano. We're running around, you know, doing family stuff for the most part. Okay, but you you manage the business. You yeah. told me that you don't practice anymore, but you manage the business. How do you find a balance between your personal life and managing a business that checking on your, on, on your website, there is a lot of practitioners there, so it must be a lot of work. It is. Um, I've been doing this for a long time. I, I've started my own practice in 2008, and that mm -hmm. grew into uh, uh, interdisciplinary space where we had five treatment rooms. And then in 2016, I moved into this space. We have seven treatment rooms in a studio, so it's grown gradually over time. Um, I think learning how to set firm boundaries on my time is very important. Uh, there's there's a cutoff time in the day where I, I don't check my messages anymore. I don't check my emails. It's family time. Same thing on the weekend. The weekend is family time. Um, and I think all of the practitioners that work here really value work-life balance. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, I, I recognize that it's important for them and they, they, you know, pay me the same courtesy, unless it's an emergency, of course, then I yeah. have to come deal with it. But that's just the way it is. Of course. And which specialties do you have in your center? Uh, we have our primary services registered massage therapy. Uh, we have a chiropractor, Dr. Ken Alexander. He's amazing. Uh, we have a physiotherapist, Justine. She's currently off on maternity leave, but she'll be back soon. Um, we have uh, two different acupuncturists. We have counseling, naturopathic medicine. Yeah, it's trying to, to provide a well-rounded approach. Yeah, I can see that. And which kind of counseling do you have? I'm, I'm just asking, like, I think, that, let's say, if I am looking at your interview, seeing your interview, I would be very curious, like, which kind of counseling do you give? Well, uh, at the moment, our, we have a registered clinical counselor only offering online, but I'm in the process of trying to bring it physically back into the clinic. It used to be available in person, and then when COVID happened and, and all of those complications, it made more sense for it to be online, but we're bringing it back into the clinic, uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And... Um, the counselor that that's going to be here, she she'll be offering general counseling. It, it's not uh, she's not going to have a really super specific focus, but mm -hmm. she can help people with you know anxiety, depression, PTSD, um, uh, their relationship with food. There's there's a there's a wide variety of things. Um, and the main reason for bringing counseling into the clinic is trying to to help the people who don't get a lot out of manual therapy, the hands-on mm -hmm. stuff when they have, say, chronic pain. Um, a lot of the time, that's more of a nervous system issue. It's yeah. more of a... Um, it's complicated, but it, it has to do with the, the them being able to regulate their nervous system. We can get them so far with manual therapy and acupuncture can actually be really great for that too. But sometimes counseling is really the thing that helps to, to get them all the way there in that area. So somebody that can, a, a counselor that understands that connection between physical pain and your, your, your mental health. You know, I'm, I'm really impressed and touch with this comment because people don't realize that how we feel and our emotions are reflected in our physical health. And so far you're the only clinic or center that I know here in Victoria and surroundings that works with that together. It's not just fixing my bones, no, it's mm -hmm. fixing emotions because if my emotions are not well, maybe I'm sleeping crook or something and it has a, it has yeah. a consequence. Where are you located? Where is the clinic located? We're downtown Victoria on Fort Street. Um, mm -hmm. We don't have storefront, so uh, we're, we're up on the second floor in the Joseph building. So Fort Street between um, Blanchard and Quadra. Is there, a, is there a website where people can go and check the services that you provide? Yes, uh, remedywellness.ca. 
Is there a telephone number where people can call? Yes, uh, 250-590-5221. And Thank you'll probably you. get my lovely office manager, Arrow. She's, <laughs> she's great. Excellent. And do you have do you have social media like Instagram or Facebook? We, we do. We do. Yeah. Um, the, the easiest way to find those is by going to the website. And if you scroll down at the bottom, there's the little icons there. You click on those and it will take you right to them. Casey, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And people, if you need anything, almost anything, just please go to the Wellness Center with Casey Thompson as an owner and running the business, and I am sure you will be in the great hands. This was Anne Skarsaga for Remax Island Properties. I hope to see you soon. And Casey, thank you very much. Thank no, you very thank much. Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.